And what we need to be careful to do is not allow our definition of a false prophet go outside of what the Bible teaches about that, right? And start adding to that or, or kind of coming up with our own different understanding than what we can specifically see taught in Scripture of who the false prophet is. In Mark chapter 13, verse 22, the Bible says, For false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. And the reason why I brought up that verse, obviously this is talking about, you know, end times and people, that there's going to be false Christ, false prophets, and their goal, the goal of the false prophet is to seduce, right? To, to, to intentionally, and when someone's seducing, it says, if it were possible, even the elect, it, is, it has the intention of trying to deceive, of trying to beguile, of of, of specifically knowing the right way, but rejecting that and trying to bring people down an evil path just for themselves to get gain. Not caring at all about who they trample on, whose lives they destroy. They only care about themselves. This is an important mark of a false prophet. We can see some people today that I have no problems labeling as a false prophet because they exhibit this type of, of behavior, and this would be like your Joel Osteens out there, that it's obvious they're all about the money. That is all they care about. If they cared about the people, they'd be preaching on sin, they'd be preaching on things that people need to hear to help themselves get, get right with God. They'd be preaching, well, the right gospel, first of all, which he doesn't have. But then on top of that, if you know anything about him, you know, he'll prop up other people for his own advantage. He, you know, everything that we're reading here, it can fit a person like that to a T, but they're also very influential over people as well. The Bible says in Luke, you're still, you stay in uh, Acts chapter 16. In Luke chapter 6, Jesus said this, it says in verse 26, Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. So another attribute of a false prophet is that, hey, everyone loves a false prophet. The world loves the false prophet because they're of the world. Everyone's going to love that person. And everyone speaks well of them. And you know what? That's the way it's been all throughout time, all throughout history. And Jesus said, hey, if everyone's just speaking well of you, Watch out. Woe unto you. That's not good. It's not a good thing for everybody to just be speaking well about you if you're a prophet, because that's exactly what they do with the false prophets. 